Nobody knows violins like those who play them or those who make them. For the musician, this knowledge is related to the production of the sound that he or she likes. For the maker, our concern is uh, to discover how all the parts work together in order to produce that certain sound. My name is Marco Copiardi, and as a violin maker, I have dedicated most of my life to the ongoing discovery of this process. such a beautiful instrument. It's a gamba, made in the 1500. What I like about this instrument is a gamba. My interest is based on the balance and coordination of many skills. Carved, three dimensionally. It's a floral design and you can see how each leaf is The accomplished violin maker is a part chemist, part wood carver, part painter, and part musician. An unusual lion head carved out of a piece of uh, maple. You see how intricate it is all around. I am always humbled by the works of the makers of old. Absolutely love about Artisans such as Stradivari, Guarneri and Amati set a standard very high for all of us who make violins today. And that's it's, a, it's so amazing when it, it can be done, uh, when it is done, as well as done here in this case. This is a piece of maple from the Balkans, a solid piece of wood, and uh, first we cut the outline and then we carve the arching. And this is what it looks like. The arching has a maximum height of 26 to 30 millimeters and then it slopes down all the way to five. Now let's change tool. We take this plane. And the plane makes the surface that is rough with this gouge mark all smooth. Here, and now we're finished. I release the vise, and here, the rough work is done. What makes an instrument special, what makes an instrument by Stradivari, by Guarneri, sound so great is the balance between each part, the balance of the elements that form the whole. And this is the most amazing thing. When we look at a Stradivari, when we look at a, a, an old uh, instrument, we forget that's made of parts. We violin makers are particularly attuned and we are always seeking we, to break down uh, the whole and to find out how the different parts work together. This is the body of the violin completed, the maple back, the spruce top and the last thing I do is to round up these edges and I'm going to do it in two stages. First, I file two chamfers inside and outside and then I make them round. Outside and the inside here. Here's the edge, nice and round. I just glued the fingerboard 
on the neck. The neck needs to be shaped so that it can be then set in the body of the violin, like this. So let's put this aside and we do this with this plane, like this. And then with this tool, which is a microplane, I'm going to make the neck all the way around, like this. With this file, I make the neck nice and smooth. And then I finish it with sandpaper. And now it is ready to be set in the body. Well, I like to think of a of the violin maker as some sort of fancy tailor. And I believe the, usually the musician comes to the violin maker and he's been playing for years with another violin, a viola, a cello, and uh, they have very specific questions and they have uh, uh, sort of the need for a certain type of sound and even for a certain type of shape of instrument. Maybe they've been playing on a Stradivari pattern violin and they like to uh, more the soloist sound of, uh, of a Guarneri pattern violin. The professional violinist finds it necessary to define his own sound, to find a sound that distinguishes him from everybody else. There is a commercial aspect to it. Chrysler or Heifetz had a unique sound. The sound also should help the violinist to express himself better. This is a filler color that's made with burnt amber and uh, quinacrinone burnt orange. There's two colors diluted with linseed oil. This and then we rub it in with a piece of paper. the difference between this side that has been treated and this side and how on this side you have the, the winter grain is not as visible as it is on this side. So in between coats the varnish needs to be sanded. The sieve out we need to sand this and make it really smooth. Great, now we can go and we can apply this onto the instrument. We make sure that we have just the right amount on the brush.
believe that, that modern makers can only produce a quality instruments by using the traditional method of construction. So by studying the tradition and uh, even uh, when we have to craft, make our own tools and uh, go to great lengths just to replicate the process because the truth is in the process. So as the process is respected, then the violin maker can uh, produce a quality instrument that's just as good or very, very close to a Stradivari or a Guarneri.